show you quickly how to get through this. And I'm happy for you to, to actually submit the report template as your submission. I've already got a few things filled out here, but basically in the introduction, you're talking to me about something to do with crime and punishment in one of the periods we've looked at. And I believe that you've chosen sort of early white settlement Australia, and you're looking at the experience of women. Um, look, get this out of here for now. But basically, you know, time period is we've got the first fleet arriving in 1788. Um, and in by way of a bit of background, many of the female convicts were first offenders. They'd generally been what's what are called known as domestic servants. So they'd been doing things like, you know, um, nannying, looking after children, doing domestic labor back in Britain. And then they are sent to the colonies for minor offenses, things like, you know, petty theft, etc. Um, there were some free women that took it upon themselves to help convict women in, in this time. But the whole idea is that you are exploring this experience of women and you're going to look at and the part that I think is probably the most confusing are these two cause and effect and change and continuity let's get rid of these two but if we're looking at causes what reasons uh, were women sent to Australia for? and then here you know what was their experience like and honestly, if you're doing a Google search, um, the experience of convict women in Australia, we've had a look at this kind of stuff before, but you know, there's an Australian geographic um, site about the little known story of Australia's convict women. And, you know, it's got quite a few really great key facts about the route to Australia, um, how many convicts were women, uh, all of that kind of stuff, um, what their experience was life on the journey, like on the journey, um, some uh, artifacts from the time, ignore the ads that are here, and then look at this, the life that they were leading in Australia. So this source is actually really great for you to start fleshing out this part about you know, what was their experience like and what were the reasons why they were sent here? I've also added some annotations to yours. Change of continuity is such a beast, but the, we're, we're told to teach it to you. It's really, really confusing. But basically, I've added this change and continuity document to the classroom under change and continuity explained, if you want to have a look. Basically, it means students need to identify the changes and continuities that exist during a set time and place. So I that what that means is the things that have changed and some of the things that stayed the same. So if we're looking at women, you know, what if we're talking about their experience, what things changed for these women? Well, they were set to do hard labor and, you know, they were in order to as, as punishment for their crimes, right? Um, so how in this very strange land, Australia, with a totally different climate, all that, that kind of stuff. How were the lives of these women different? What things stayed the same, though? So what we know is that, like, many of them still had, you know, sexism was still real. Many still had domestic jobs. Yep. In terms of this part as well, a statement about what things from this period have affected or shaped modern crime and punishment, that's going to be a little bit harder to answer. But I guess, you know, if you, and in fact, actually asking a hundred words of this, you know, you could still look at um, which of the punishments given to women or the sanctions I should say so the things that they were asked to do are still in place today so you know imprisonment did they have to pay any fines that kind of stuff obviously this is going to be a little bit you know I don't think you're going to get to 100 words for that that's okay conclude with a summary of the importance of the historical period and if you have a look at you know some of these other um, 
uh, sites that tell us about the experience of female convicts. Ooh, the Female Convict Research Centre. This is all to do with their experience in Tasmania, but you've got, you know, um, some uh, places that you can search to look at what their lives were life, etc. Um, and once you've done that, the idea is that as well, this whole time you're listing your references so you know what to do. And then maybe just, before, you know, you can, you don't have to do the support draft, but you need to put primary source one. So like a letter, um, an illustration, ETC, primary source two. And then you explain to me what it is and, and what it tells us about the lives of these women at the time. 